Hey guys, just wanted to give you a heads up on a problem that uh, these X5s have. Mine's uh, 2010 35D, and um, I just recently lost two injectors due to this problem. Um, this is the water shield on the back that runs all the way across, and uh, these are the parts. <coughs> that are supposed to connect together to stop the water from dripping down onto the motor. So what happens is they break. Obviously, you can see mine are badly broken. And that one there, of course, is broken as well. You can see they snap and uh, they drip motor, uh, water. Sorry, uh, You can see the water buildup just there. And it drips down, I think you can see a drop through the gap, and they drip down onto the uh, injectors, and then they corrode. Mine had foam and a cover over it to try and help it uh, from the factory, but the water seeps through and it uh, pools up in the injector valley there. You can see some corrosion. I can't quite get it to focus. I'll see what I can do for you here. You can see right down there. You can see the corrosion down in that valley. So that's where the injectors are. That's an injector right there with the fuel line attached to it. And so the water drips down from here and just sits on the foam that covers this, the sound insulation, and then repeatedly drips down, uh, filling that uh, well with water and shorting out your fuel injector. I just had to replace two because of that. So. It's not a big job uh, to remove it. Uh, you got to take off the, uh, the corner covers. Uh, so you can see this is the new centerpiece. New rubbers, and seals on the sides. And in contrast, I'll show you the old one. This is what's left of it. That's it. Nothing compared to the other one. It's the other one right behind it. And you can see here where somebody used chicken wire to try and hold everything together. They crack along the bottom here, right along this ridge. They crack. You can see here. This is the piece. Reinforced rubber seals on the bottom quite considerably heftier than the uh, original piece that you can see there. And in the truck, you can see this is the new one. Really considerably better piece. I got this straight from uh, BMW in uh, Laval for a decent price. I think it's 267 for them or something like that. Here we are in a nice sunny cold day putting in the new water shields. Uh, here's all the air filters for the uh, cabin, air filter for the engine. And then you throw the old pieces, these are the old water shields there. And there. And there, they're all destroyed. New pieces are in. Right along there, along with uh, new water seals between the seams. You can see right there. Much more hefty pieces, much better built than the originals. Now I didn't have to uh, take the uh, air breather uh, system out, but I wanted to replace this because we had taken it out because we had to replace injector 6 and injector 4 are new. But then you can see the corrosion on the lines uh, from the water dripping down from here onto the foam and then the foam holding it and dripping it slowly onto the uh, injectors and onto the fuel lines and so these valleys fill up with water down in here and short out the uh, fuel injectors as you can see mine are quite corroded back there where the water was dripping down from here so a little bit of contrast here it's a little bit cleaner not a lot but you can see uh, these guys up here a little bit better condition 
Um, so we replaced uh, two of the injectors and took out four and four is in five. And uh, yeah, so uh, we put the new pieces on. I'm gonna put the new foam on now because now the foam should not uh, fill with uh, absorb the water anymore. So we'll do that. See the new rubber seals in the corners here? And it's just, you know, these two screws here, the two center screws, two uh, screws right down there. Um, but yeah, you can see how the top piece is now connected all the way across. The new one's clipped in really quite nicely. You can see the new rubber seal sealing the joint. Them, allowing the water to drip down the back where it's supposed to go. 